Good morning and welcome to a very moody morning here in southeastern Iceland. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm using a phone to do both my vid video and photos. I'm both vlogging and taking my photos today on the Google Pixel 7. That's not the Pro, that's just the normal old 7. I don't use my phone very much at all, let alone for photos and videos. So. Yeah, we'll see how we go this morning. All the video and photo in today's episode are on the Google Pixel 7. Right off the bat, that's some really smooth footage. So as you guys might know, I'm not much of a specs guy. But let me get kind of the quick specs of the video side of this uh, phone camera out of the way really quick. First of all, it does 4K and it does 4K 60 frames per second. That's what I'm using for this episode. Basically, I'm shooting everything in 4K 60 frames and then I'll use those 60 frames a second to slow down for smoother slow-mo-ish. There is 10-bit on this camera as well, which is awesome, but you can't use it in 4K. You also can't use it in 60 frames per second. So you can kind of only use 10 bit if you go down to 1080p, 30 frames per second. And honestly, for most people, 10 bits totally unnecessary anyway, but it can do it if you need to. There are some other modes for video shooting as well, like time-lapse and like slow-mo. So you can actually do a lot with this camera on this phone. And you'll see some of that footage now along with probably some photos because it looks pretty epic back there. And I also gotta really stop watching myself on the screen instead of looking at the camera. I kind of feel like an idiot because the light is absolutely kicking off behind us and I don't have my camera, it's in the car, but I think the images still look really nice and vivid on, on the phone. I mean, it's hard to tell, but I'm shooting raw, so yes, I definitely have FOMO. I mean, look at that, but it, uh, the FOMO's less in knowing I'm at least shooting some raw photos. Yeah, the sunrise light absolutely kicked off, but I actually think the Google Pixel 7 handled it pretty well. The raw files left me with lots of room to play with the edit, and the JPEG AI actually provided really sharp images. Both look good. After sunrise, we hit the road down the south coast. And I should mention, no stabilization was added to these clips from the drive. So we made it to Skaktafell and we're gonna hike up to uh, Spartifoss. And I'm actually finding it very liberating not having a giant camera bag. I can't say the last time I've gone out shooting photography without about 12 kilos on my back. I feel so much lighter. Normally, my camera bag weighs 12 kilos. Not to mention that my hands are free now too. So liberating not having a camera bag. I'm gonna be honest with you, I kinda am bragging to the other people here who are struggling up the hill as I'm flying. And uh, yeah, uh, another thing with this camera, or I just noticed, is one of the modes is long exposure. And I'm assuming it's not actually doing a long exposure, but rather piecing together three or four or five or 10 uh, little tiny images and kind of doing an AI edit of it. But it's a cool feature, especially for waterfalls. And we've almost made it to Sparty Foss, so let's see how this handles with that long exposure mode. The long exposure mode feels a little bit like a gimmick, but to be honest, it makes it really fun if you wanna upload something quick to social media. 
And it gives you some creative license to have fun taking photos with a phone. At Svartifoss, I came away with this image. I actually think that that came out pretty good, to be honest. I think it's definitely not sharp. There's no way those images are sharp, and I guess we can zoom in right now on one of the images to see. But it's a fun feature to have, you know, just to, to mess around with, if nothing else. Another thing I kind of want to talk about is the image stabilization. The image stabilization shooting video on this phone is awesome. It's almost gimbal-esque. I absolutely love it. So that's been a lot of fun. And today's been fun because the weather's been awesome. And we're going to push on towards Vic. I need to clarify something because I'm amazed by it. I am not using a gimbal or stabilizing this footage in post. The Google Pixel 7's image stabilization is wild. Occasionally, there's a little jump, but for the most part, it's really, really smooth. We made it to the Black Sand Beach at Vic, as you can see behind me. Weather's pretty nice, but what's really cool is there's all these seabirds out at sea right now, and it brings me to the one thing that's kind of lacking on the Google Pixel 7 that is prevalent, which is available on the Pro version or the Plus and that's a telephoto. There's a wide angle and a standard lens on this phone, but there isn't a telephoto. On the Plus, I believe it's a four times telephoto, which would be able to film the awesomeness of these birds. I can't really do that. And when I decided to buy the Pixel 7, I really wrestled with the Plus versus the regular one, mostly just because of that telephoto lens. That was the only thing I felt was lacking from the standard one. And this is the first time I feel like I'm really missing it. If you're wondering the reason I didn't get the Pixel 7 Pro, it's because of the size. I might be the only one on the planet who wants a really small phone. The waves were up and out in Vic, but I managed to hike along the beach and grab a couple images here too. Okay, as you can probably tell by my lack of clothing, showing a little skin, back in Portugal. And I just wanna talk quickly about some of the things about this phone over a cup of coffee. Now that I'm back, now that I've edited the video, now that I've edited the photos, and now that I've thought about it a bit. When I was in the field with the Pixel 7, I was thinking to myself, I could vlog on just this. If the audio quality was better, I could vlog on just this. After going through the files, I found, yes, the footage is crazy smooth. It is like gimbal-esque. It's absolutely beautiful. But noise is definitely an issue in the low light. And as a travel photographer, I'm often in low light pre-sunrise, post-sunset, and I need better low light capabilities. And I, I don't think any smartphone can handle noise like that. It's just not possible. The sensors are too small. And secondly, the landscapes kind of feel muddy. So they don't have that same sharpness as you get from a mirrorless camera or DSLR. You just lose that sharpness. It's a little bit muddy. It looks good, but it's just a little bit muddy. In the middle of the day though, it looks absolutely beautiful. You get the crispness, you don't have noise, it looks stunning. So having gone through the process, what I've learned is, one, I need to use my phone more to film. You can get beautiful footage from your phone. And I so often forget that I have my phone available to shoot the B-roll clips that I need. Just the clips of my camera in the field or driving clips. I'm often, I often don't take enough B-roll footage because I don't think that I have the gear with me. The phone does that. The phone can do that trick. I need to use the phone more. Um, regarding the photos, the raw files came out really nice. I'm actually really happy with them. They're not crazy sharp, but mind you, I was hand-holding them. Again, I feel like some of the details were a little bit muddy, 
But overall, I think that the Pixel does an incredible job of taking photos. I took photos side by side with a friend's iPhone. They both use AI technology to, you know, make a nice looking JPEG. I looked at the raw files of both of them and I definitely thought the raw files from the Pixel were superior to the raw files from the iPhone. That being said, I thought the JPEG renders, the AI renders of the iPhone were better than the AI renders from the Pixel. So if you want to use raw files, the Pixel is probably better for you. If you just want the JPEGs, maybe the Apple iPhone is going to do better for you. Um, but overall, I absolutely love this phone. I've had Google Pixel phones since the 2, and I can't see myself shifting to another type of phone, to be honest, ever. I love it that much. And uh, yeah, it was a fun video to film. Iceland was a lot of fun. I've got some stuff coming up from Antarctica, I think, next. I'll see you there. Peace.